Howdy folks, Sunny and South. Hope everybody doing real good. Chicken tenders on the menu this evening. We're going to be frying up some extra crispy chicken tenders and whooping up a Carolina Gold style dipping sauce to go with this. going to be extra good. And to get these chicken tenders nice and crispy with that gnarly flaky crust, we're going to be using a uh, wet batter. And the star of the show for that wet batter is some club soda. The carbonation in that club soda uh, really allows for an outstanding crust on these uh, chicken tenders. We're going to get them seasoned up with some plain old chicken rub, get a little hot sauce on there. Then we'll dredge them through some uh, just some plain seasoned flour, get them off in that uh, wet batter, and then back in the plain seasoned flour. We'll drop them in the oil, let them fry up till they're nice and crispy. We're going to season that wet batter up. Uh, with some thyme, a little paprika. We'll get a little pepper, onion powder, garlic powder in there. We'll hit it with a little hot sauce, and you're going to need an egg in that as well. And for this old dipping sauce, you're going to need some honey and some mustard. So the base is basically a honey mustard sauce. But they just upped the game a little bit over there in Carolina. We're going to get a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there, some ketchup, some old Worcestershire. We got a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. I got a pinch of cayenne pepper in here and a little bit of garlic powder. We'll get all that together, get it in a pot, let it simmer a little bit. It'll be ready when these tenders are done. Let's get to cooking. On this sauce, we're going to start out getting the pot warming up here a little bit. We're going to get some mustard in. I don't feel like fooling with all that. We got to get us about four to six tablespoons of this mustard in here. That's probably about, that's probably about four or five tablespoons. We're gonna get us some honey in. We're gonna go in with about four tablespoons of that. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. We're going to need us some apple cider vinegar. We're going to get us about four tablespoons of this in there. About a tablespoon of ketchup. Some of this old Worcestershire. We're going to get us a couple of tablespoons of that in there. Just about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm going to get my itty bitty whisk. We're going to get this mixed up here a little bit. Get a little hot sauce in here. I'm going to give this a taste, see what it's talking about. It's pretty good. It needs a little more honey. Get us a good healthy dose of cracked black pepper in here. Give us another taste, see what that did. That's pretty darn good. I'm going to move that to the back burner. And we're just going to let that bubble there a few minutes till it thickens up a bit. Let's get this chicken going. Alright, first step is chicken prep. On these little old tenders, I'm going to go in with some of this chicken rub. I'm going to get us a little hot sauce on here. This is Crystal Brand hot sauce. Uh, it's a pretty mild hot sauce. We're just trying to get get something on here uh, to, to wet these uh, little old tenders a little bit so that when we go to dredge, it starts building that nice,
crust. And it's not going to make them hot. It'll just add a little, little kick to them. Get these evenly seasoned up here pretty good. And we're going to set them aside. And this is plain old flour here. I guess about a cup and a half in there. We're just going to get a little bit of all purpose in here. About two teaspoons, I'll do it. Let's see. And that bland as hell. We'll get a little more in there. Pretty good. Are you trying to end up with a nice seasoned chicken? And we got the chicken seasoned up pretty good. You go dredging it off in some plain old flour. You know, it just it, it kills the flavor. So you at least got to get a little salt and pep in there. And we'll set that aside. We're going to get our wet batter together. Get us an egg down here. Get us a little hot sauce in there. Just a splash or two. Put some of this club soda in. Put about a cup in there. We'll look at it. We'll probably have to make an adjustment or two. We'll get that egg whooped up in there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start incorporating this flour until we end up with the batter consistency we want. Almost there. Now we don't want this too thick. Don't want it too thin either. Maybe just a little bit more flour. It's about where it needs to be. This was almost two cups, about a cup and three quarter, and I've about used it all. We had about a cup of that old club soda in there. We got some other goodies. I'm going to put a little thyme in here. We're going to get us a little paprika in. This is mostly for color. Just a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons of that in there. We're going to get us some pelp in. Put about a teaspoon of garlic powder in there. We're gonna get us a little onion powder in. We'll put a little more of that in there. That's a teaspoon. And about two teaspoons of onion powder. Need, we're gonna need to put a little salt in here. Couple pinches. It's looking pretty good. Yep. It's going to do real nice. We got some peanut oil heating up there in that old cast iron pot. Once it comes up to temp, we'll start uh, battering up these chicken tenders and getting them dropped. All right, cooking oil is just about up to temp. We're going to start getting these uh, tenders fixed up. We're going to go in first off. We're going to go in first off and just lightly coat with that seasoned flour. And then we're going to go into this wet batter. And we're going to let the excess drip off of there. And then back into this flour. And we're going to get this coated real good.
just like that right there. So you end up with that gnarliness going on. And we're going to go right into the oil. Lightly coat into the wet batter. Let it drip over here. We're going to let these fry here about six minutes until they nice golden brown. That old chicken smelling good. Pulled the first two out and it got dropped. And right there's looking pretty golden. Looking pretty good. That one right there is ready. Give them another minute. Lightly dust into the wet. See that old hot sauce, that vinegar in there starts eating this protein up and you end up with all these little edges and nooks and stuff in the chicken uh, so that this flour can really get down in. Last one. About supper time around here. Now that right there is going to be some outstanding chicken tenders. Nice and crispy, flaky crust. Oh my goodness, look at it right there. Mmm. Let's play it up. We got our chicken tenders down. We're gonna get us a little coleslaw go with this. Get us some French fries. We'll just drizzle a little bit on here and make it look real nice. Some of this old Carolina gold.
look in here and see what it's talking about. Mmm. Mmm. Boy, I tell you, that is good. That is delish. That season is perfect. And this sauce right here, I tell you what, it's a perfect pair for these old chicken tenders. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's rather folks proof. That's it, folks. Some old extra crispy chicken tenders with some of that Carolina gold sauce. Till next time, peace.